First things first, there's a few ways you can wear the ski mask. Like this, like this. You can put it all the way under your chin. You can even cover your entire face. This is an athletic ski mask. And today I'm starting to try three different head coverings for my dreadlocks, starting with the shiesty mask. This thing is actually kind of cool. Really quick, I'll show you a quick 360. Oh, golly. I'm not gonna show you a 360 right now. I'll show you guys one later. I actually have to head out. I am going to the gym and I'm gonna be wearing this, but I do like the way it feels. But since I'm going to the gym, I don't want anybody to think that I'm robbing them. So I will be wearing it like this. That is a lot better right there. So let's see how this head covering goes versus the other two. I'll see you guys when I get back from the gym. All right, guys, I am back from the gym and I'm ready to take a nice, hot shower and I really want to rinse my scalp because like you guys seen yesterday bro look at that hat hair but yesterday I showed you guys that I had some dandruff disclaimer dandruff is just dry scalp or the pieces of your scalp that have fallen off because your scalp is regenerating everybody deals with it everyone just has different levels of it and in the winter time it makes it even worse but you can see up there what I'm talking about but let me show you the main struggle that I'm concerned about look at this dreadlock right here like what do you see that that's literally combined down by the root yo there's literally a knot right here that's not even the bad part that's it's only one Congo. Let me see if I can show you this one on the back. Look at this one right here. There's like five or six dreadlocks in here. Look at that. Although it's crazy, I, I kind of like it. Like, honestly, I really do. But then I think I'm not gonna be able to do like really nice hairstyles if I let my hair Congo up. So I am gonna have to be doing quite a bit of the separation. Those are only the two that I've noticed so far. And I'm pretty sure that there's more up there. But there have already been a lot of benefits that I've noticed just from watching my hair yesterday. Here's a few of them. Number one is my tips are actually developing really fast. And I'm really excited to see what they look like at the end of this week. This is what a tip looks like as it's going through budding and it's gonna eventually blunt off and I'm pretty sure this is gonna happen by the end of this week. See all of those loops right there? That's the hair starting to blunt off. And man, like that just goes to show, just washing your hair makes a huge difference because when you wash the hair, it curls the hair up and it makes it lock up a lot faster. And this is what it will progress to and I'll show you what it'll look like at the very end. This is a lock on the back that has been getting a lot of attention. You can see how it's pretty much blunted off. There's just a little bit of frizz, but that'll be taken care of. But this is the goal that I have and I believe I'll reach it by washing my hair every single day. Now, when it comes to all my dreadlocks combining and needing separated, I'm going to be doing that in tomorrow's video but i will separate one of them today and it's going to be this one up here so i can show you guys what that looks like and sounds like i'm also going to be filming a little tiktok this is going to be like an asmr video this is what separating dreadlock sounds like there's like so much that goes into tiktok man but i actually really enjoy it it's kind of fun yo and people are going to get on to me like in the comment section for this because like you can see the buildup in my hair and i'm kind of bugged about that and this is a dry separation so i'm not sure how this is going to go bro it's in there Son of a gun, that was locked in. Oh, that hurt. That tugged on my scalp a little bit. It wasn't too bad though. Golly, those things were like literally combined, bro. Like That actually wasn't that bad considering how much separation I needed. So I'm actually really excited to do all the separation. And guys, my hair is locking up really nice. So it's time to go shower because I'm not even afraid of the combination anymore. I'm most likely gonna have to do separation probably every other day, but it's all good. So I actually just found out that I have another Congo right here. I'm debating if I want to keep this one though. This is probably the skinniest lock that I have on my head. Tough decision. I'll leave it for tomorrow's video because tomorrow's video is focused on separation. So just come back and watch that separation video tomorrow. After I shower, I'm gonna break down the different types of head coverings. Yo, let's get it. I'm about to try on three different types of head coverings for dreadlocks. I'm gonna start out with a dewy. This is just a silk do-rag. It is pink. It smells like hair oil. I've had this for about three years because I actually had this when I had waves. If you guys remember, I used to be wavy, bro. I ended up giving away the rest of my do-rags but this is the only one I have left. In order for me to try these on, I'm gonna have to take down my hair. <sighs> Guys, my hair smells so good. Washing your hair every day, it makes such a benefit. Really the only downside that I've been facing is just having to separate my locks. That's the only problem. And it's not even that big of a deal. I can do it throughout the day. I can sit down and do all of them while I'm watching a movie or just sit down and do them regardless. Either way, it's not that big of a deal. One thing that I did on my first set of locks is I washed my hair every single day. If I didn't wash it every day, I at least got my hair wet every day. That's why my hair locked up and looked so nice. And this is the secret that I haven't been implementing this entire time. Now's the time. It's kind of just up because I had it pulled up. Let me work it down. All 
All right, let's put on the do-rag, man. I personally do not like do-rags, and it's very rare that I'll ever wear a do-rag with my hair not in a hairstyle. Do-rags take the longest to put on. I'm doing it the ski mask way. Yeah, I'm gonna take my hoodie off. All right, so this is the do-rag. I personally don't really care much for do-rags just because there's a lot of tension around this area just from where you tie it down. I actually do like tying it in the front or on the side a little bit better just because this knot and this little ball isn't gonna be on the back. But I will show you a 360 on what this looks like. The front. This is what it looks like if you see someone out in public. Here's the right side. Here's the back. Here's the left side. What do you guys think? Do you think the do-rag is nice? Do you wear a do-rag? If you don't wear a do-rag, comment down below what hair covering you wear. Now let's move on to the next one. Next hair covering is from Hype. I actually really like these. I'm like, man, should we do some great lock ski masks? They're kind of cool. Let's try it out. I'm going to tell you guys what I like about them. This is a ski mask, also known as a shiesty mask. Smells new because I've only worn it a few times. Let's put this on and see how easy it is to put on versus a do-rag. Now let's become the superhero we were born to be. First things first, there's a few ways you can wear the ski mask. Like this, like this. You can put it all the way under your chin. You can even cover your entire face. You can pull it up to be like this on the top. You can also fold down the top, make it look more uniform, just like this. This is a very popular way to wear the ski mask. Now let's take a look at the 360. You have the front, you have your right side, you got the back right there, you have the left side. Cool thing about this head covering is if you're in a high stake situation, all you gotta do is Boom. I honestly think this mask is a benefit because say if you go to a location that you want to cover up your hair and wear a face mask at the same time, you can just like that. Like not even joking. I feel like this is accepted in public now. I even seen someone wearing this mask in a school yearbook photo. They're letting kids just wear whatever they want. Like I'm super down to even film videos in this thing. It's just comfortable. It like hugs my head. I feel like Buzz Lightyear. Contacting Star Command. I feel like this would come in handy, especially in the winter time. I like how it has this very thin material and it's just like a silk do-rag, but there's no straps. It stays on your head very easily and you can wear it three different ways. Oh yeah, there's also the option of actually wearing it just on your neck or like this or even just on your face like that as well. So you have way more possibilities with this head covering than the do-rag. Let's check out the next one. Oh uh, yeah. This one's from Lay K. This is also on Amazon. This is a comfortable headwear with care for your hair. All right, let's open it. Oh, right off the bat. Look at this. Oh golly. That's silky on the inside. Low-key feel that this is gonna be way too large for, oh, it's adjustable. This is a male bonnet. Um, and obviously it could be weared with females as well, but I think the beneficial part of this is, bro, look at that, you got a silk inlay. I see this little thing being a potential hazard to my comfortability. For this one, I'm gonna put all of my dreadlocks into it. Bro, I can't see. I'm like shaking my head so that I can get all of the hair in there. Now I'm gonna tighten it. Yo, this is kinda comfortable. What in the world? My hair is literally all in there standing up. I was honestly hoping that this would like kinda fall back, but it's literally standing straight up on my head. Like, look at this thing. Yo, I don't know about this one. All right, now what does it look like? This is the front. This is the right side. Kinda pressing on my ears, which is kinda bugging me. Here's the back. Here is the left side. I could potentially see myself using this to sleep in just because it is pretty comfortable. I think I just need to loosen it a little bit more. Yeah, I can't see myself wearing this in public. I do, however, wear the ski mask out in public. I obviously have not worn it as an actual ski mask. I'll wear it on the top of my head. But as far as this, like, look at this. Like, it, like it's too ridiculous. It's almost like a Marge Simpson. I think it's okay. Like, people will know that you have dreadlocks under here. And people do wear stuff like this. Actually, let me look at it really quick. I'm gonna look in the mirror. Yeah, I don't know about this one. This is definitely something that you would wear just for sleeping. The ski mask, however, is gonna take the W today out of all three. I would put this one at number two. The do-rag, I just don't like wearing do-rags just because of the work that goes into putting them on. Um, I like stuff to be really easy. Like this is really easy. I can just put it on, go to bed. Um, I do feel more comfortable shaking my hair how I did so that my hair kind of elongates in there and it's not just bunched up because then I can create combination in weird directions. So the ski mask is my favorite. The do-rag is my least favorite. I probably won't even wear it ever again just because I have these other head coverings. This one I'd most likely wear at night. And then this one is like daytime, the gym, and anytime I just wanna cover my hair up in general. The only time I've been covering my hair is at the gym though. This video is not sponsored by any of these head coverings, but if you do want to know where I got these, please, you can leave a comment down below and then I'll answer them in the comment section. But that is today's video. Tomorrow I'm gonna be washing my hair and doing a lot of separation because you guys seen how much I need to take care of. It's gonna be a big separation day tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace and God bless.